Hi everybody, it's Valerie. It is time for another Oracle card reading. And this reading is for the week starting Monday, January 4th. And since this is a brand new year, I thought we would see what energy we're gonna start the year with. So the cards that I'm going to read from are Oracle of the Seven Energies. And these are my favorite cards. One of the reasons I like the design on the back, but the front, the cards are really bright and really pretty. And one thing that's different with these cards, some of the cards I've been reading from, you may remember, they have a basic meaning, but then they also have a meaning for relationships or careers. And with those cards, if I pull a card and it's upside down, that has a whole different meaning. With these cards, there's just one basic meaning, no matter what. It doesn't have to do with relationships specifically or careers. And if the one I pull is upside down, it doesn't matter. So here we go. Let me just give a quick shuffle. I stopped shuffling on the table because after the first video that I did with that, it was very noisy. So just to save your ears, I'm just gonna shuffle this way. Okay. And I'll cut the cards and grab one. This one is a merry motive. And what I'm gonna do is, as I said, there's seven energies. So each energy has cards underneath it. So I'm going to read the energy first and what that has to do with, and we'll, then I'll read the meaning for the card. So this is number 20. And that falls under, okay, fire. That's energy number three. And fire stands for personal power, will, assertiveness, action, vitality, movement, individuation, and extreme states, joy, anger, and transformation. Ooh, this is gonna be very interesting. So a merry motive. The key concepts for this one are knowing your own motives, understanding what drives you to meet your goals, the momentum your attention creates, and the wisdom behind your intentions. So now as I read what's on here, not everything may pertain to you. So just pick out a sentence or two or a word or two that actually resonates with what's going on with you now or how you want things to happen for you in your life. And something will jump out at you. So just, just listen and see what, what resonates. So here we go. You've chosen a path, you've set an intention, and you've begun to move toward a goal. You feel compelled to keep going, but do you know the why behind this drive? Do you truly want what you're pursuing? Or are you chasing a destination with the anticipation of how it will make others feel about you or you feel about yourself? You must choose to be in the flow of the experience, relishing the moment. Surrender your expectations to a higher power rather than being guided by your limited self. The most important aspect to consider now is where you place your focus because that's where energy will flow. If you are resentful, the outer world will show you more opportunities to be resentful. If you are envious of others, competitive and overly ambitious, you will always feel as if you are not enough. If you focus on gratitude and compassion for others, you will see even more reasons to be grateful and loving. When you look for abundance, it has an uncanny way of multiplying in your life. So if you're unsure about your motives, the results will be just as unclear. Dig deep to understand your why. 
if your true desire is to experience X, let go of your attachment to the form that X is supposed to come in. Make sure your motive is merry and joyful, clear and honest and aim true. Trust that the universe will provide the outcome that is a perfect match for your intention. It always does. That's very interesting. It's, it's sort of amazing how when we pull the cards, they just fit what's going on. And I think this is just perfect for the start to a new year. So I hope that something resonated with you and any advice that this may have given you, you heed that. It had some very interesting information. And because remember, what we focus on multiplies. So we want to focus on the good, the abundance. No longer are we going to think about things that happened in the past and dwell on that. As the book said, resentments, things like that, anger, frustration, just keeping something inside and letting it dig at you, that's just going to multiply and multiply. Just forgive and let that go and start this new year fresh with all positive things and see how many positive things are attracted to you because of the new energy that you're putting out of love and positivity. So I hope this helps you start your new year and I will see you next week. Bye.